Hey, my name is Robin Poteet, and I just finished a workshop here at Cheap Joe's. Our topic was drawing your way to better pay needs. Because in many of the workshops that I teach, I'll have students say, gee, I should really work on my drawings, or I'm really slow at drawing, or I don't know how to draw. And drawing is, is a critical element to doing a good painting. So what I like to do with students is get you started, get you motivated, and give you some tips on learning to practice in a way that makes drawing fun. One of the things that I like to do is create sketchbooks and journals because that's a way to practice your drawing but enjoy the process. So I'm an avid traveler. What I like to do is create my own sketchbooks and I'll take a sheet of arches or Kilimanjaro paper, divide it into a reasonable size. I can usually get nine or ten pieces of paper out of a full sheet and then I cut that down into individual sheets. I take some mat board, mat board scraps from the local uh, frame company and we'll have them bound into these little sketchbooks. So here's, here's a book that uh, went with me on my last trip to Scotland and uh, that's where this happened. I fell and, and broke my arm, but I was still able to work on a sketchbook. So I, I started the book in Scotland and uh, here's my first page. The nice thing about travel sketchbooks is that your subject's already there. Uh, and you know, so I don't have to worry about what am I gonna draw or what am I gonna paint. I simply work in chronological order. So this was the plein air of the first hotel I stayed in. And then I just move on to the next page and am, am basically just recording the everyday events of the trip. It gives me a chance to draw and sketch Sometimes I'll do uh, a lot of pencil work. Sometimes I'll do some pen and ink. But each page in my sketchbook, I, I aim for a little bit of variety. Uh, here's a sketchbook of Ireland. So this page has a lot of pen and ink on it. This was, was another plein air. And you can see I do sometimes little inserts in there. Um, here's another spread. I just try to make each spread a little bit different than the one before because um, when we're drawing and when we're looking at a book we are actually seeing a spread rather than just a single page so here I've gone over the the uh, the binding there another book is uh, maybe France see I decorate the books when I get home because as you can see uh, they take a lot of abuse on a trip so I don't want the covers to get dirty Here's a sketchbook from a few years ago, and I asked the, the fellow artists that were on the trip to, to sign the first page. Um, another, another page that crosses the, the margin a little bit. The typography, um, I, I just kind of squeeze the text in here and there. I'm not planning pages as I go along. It's sort of uh, whatever scene comes up next, that's what I paint. Sometimes it's a, it's a full page spread, sometimes it's several pieces on a, on a page, and the text just works wherever I can find a, uh, an empty spot. Usually I will put my information on the back page so that I'm sure uh, if the book gets lost that someone knows how to, how to get in touch with me there. And um, occasionally, let's see, I'll even put a map of where I've been on the trip. So the, the text and the illustrations, it's a practice of drawing and, and painting, but it's in a fun way and it's casual. Um, I don't have to, to think too much about what I'm going to paint next. Uh, it's just enjoying the trip, doing a little pen work. As far as supplies go, I use a little travel palette. This is by Heritage, and it lets me use my tube colors in the wells. I put those in there before the trip. I take three or four brushes with me. This is one of Cheap Joe's pseudo squirrel brushes, which I really like. It holds a lot of paint and a lot of water, and it lets me do the larger washes in my painting. Here's another good wash brush. This is an Isby. Now, I usually do tape my name to the, uh, the tip of the brush so that it makes it a little bit easier to find it if the brush gets lost in the grass. 
Um, this is another kind of an interesting tool that I just started using. It's Molito masking fluid and it comes in a pin form and I, it, that lets me do uh, a little bit of, of white area where I need it. I don't do a lot of masking in my, my sketchbooks but when I need it this is a great tool. Mechanical pencil and um, this is another handy tool. It's the Uniball Opaque White Gel. So if I need a little bit of a white contrast somewhere, I just get this out, put a little bit of that on there. So basic supplies, I can put all of these in my carry-on and when I'm traveling, space is at a premium. So sketchbooks are a great way to practice your drawing in a fun way without uh, feeling like you're, you're, you're working at it too hard. So hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, hope to see you in a, in a workshop sometime soon. Mm -hmm.